Welcome back. Welcome back. Biden wants this man, Alejandro Mayorkas, to run the Department of Homeland Security. But a 2015 Inspector General report found, in the words of Senator Tom Cotton this week, that Mayorkas was, quote, guilty of selling green cards to Chinese nationals on behalf of rich Democratic donors. The scheme involved a casino pushed by then Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid and a business venture involving former Virginia Governor and Clinton crony Terry McAuliffe. This is disgusting swamp corruption. It's astonishing that Biden wants Mayorkas in his cabinet. I guess yet more proof that Biden is the swamp. Matt, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed this isn't um, already a bigger scandal. I can't believe that they didn't check this out in the vetting of this man. So they must have known about it and thought it's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's all right for you to you know, literally sell um, green cars to Chinese nationals and then put you in charge of Homeland Security. Sadly, this happens all the time, and it's becoming increasingly clear that in Joe Biden's America, it might be illegal to open a restaurant, but encouraged to invite a Central American caravan or to make book with the Chinese who simply want to buy their way into the country rather than participate in a legal immigration system. I mean, putting Mayorkas in charge of the Department of Homeland Security is like putting the Fire Festival crew in charge of the inauguration. This is someone who is a <laughs> pro-immigration activist, and his objective will be to try to uh, create a porous border and a system where more and more people can have mass migration into our country. We need to stand against this. I'm glad some Republican senators are showing backbone and indicating they will not support this nomination. Yeah, and we'll right. certainly fo follow, follow it. Um, Lisa, your thoughts? Well, that's a hilarious analogy. But this is also why Republicans need to keep those two Senate seats and why everyone in Georgia needs to show up on January 4th or 5th, yeah. because they need to block people like this. And this is also another reason why China loves Joe Biden. And the main reason is because he is the reason why so many jobs were shipped overseas and manufacturing jobs were shipped overseas, because it was Joe Biden who was a driving force behind China getting permanent trading status and also entry into the World Trade Organization, which is why China wanted him to win, which is also why we saw China's currency take a nosedive when it looked like Donald Trump was doing well in the election and then rose significantly once it looked like Joe Biden was doing well in the election. And all this should raise concerns because guess who loses as a result of all of this? The American worker and the middle class. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Sarah, Lisa's you know, when you see the people mm -hmm. who he's, he's, he wants in his cabinet and in senior positions. I mean, just there we saw images from his national security team, as he grandly calls it. Um, two of them are in this incredibly shady lobby, from this incredibly shady lobbying firm, West Exec. Mm -hmm. Another one, Jen Psaki, from that firm, being announced today in, as part of the communications team. The, the, I mean, the, the swamp takeover is just astonishing. It's so brazen. Yeah. Oh, and it, and it will continue to be astonishing and brazen, and they won't stop. They're not going to run away from this. That's why they had they had the gall to nominate, you know, to say that they're going to bring Mr. Mayorkas in. If you think about what he did with these EB five visas with the with the with these yeah. uh, Chinese uh, to give them, you know, the green card status. I mean, you would think that this person would never be working in government again. But this is part of that revolving yes. door. This is how these lobbyists operate, Steve. And this is what will happen under a Biden administration, and people will see more and more of it. Lisa brought up a really good point. The only people that are going to be harmed by this are the American people, and that's just too much. And I can tell you this, USCIS, that's United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, has had enormous problems going back years. I covered um, the department for years. Whistleblowers have been harmed. Whistleblowers that came forward to even report on Mr. Mayorkas were terrified of doing so because they were afraid of repercussions. Imagine what it's going to be like having, head, having him head the Department of Homeland Security. Imagine what people inside the department are going to be fearing when a person like like that is in charge.